Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second-round game between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Crimson Tide. No, this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. Number one, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense. And don't get caught gambling. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Now they'll bring it up. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Now trying to feed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. <laughs> trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries one from three-point land. It's good. Looking for a good shot. Plummer receives the pass. They go into the low block for two. Perfectly executed. Replay of the night, baby! Trying to feed the low block for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. And they get the turnover. There's a slam. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Handles the pass. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'll be in trouble without him. On the outside, defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Gets it to fall. Good job defensively. Now it comes the other way. And a slam. That's a seven nothing run. Down inside. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. They work it around the perimeter. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass.
in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Shoots from left of the circle. It sticks. Let's get a replay, baby. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Receives the ball. Number 43. Pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Stolen away. And back they come the other way. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They work the perimeter. He launches a three. Sinks the shot. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. You betcha. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the outside. Jumps into the defender. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The floor handles the field with a great block. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Stolen. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. Launches the three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Watch out, five second call approaching. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job, footwork really excellent on a post play. For the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that baby. Takes the pass in the paint. He up fakes. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. 
I tell you, he uses the ball really well, too, in terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Barry is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Looking for a good shot. On the inside, leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive play. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. There's a bad pass right to the defender. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From beyond the arc. That's good. Watch the replay coming up. Side on the dribble gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from the elbow. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. For two, perfectly executed. post flasher and he'll kick it back outside turnover city now always really the gate any offense for the bucket nice job to create the angle using the glass he shoots from the top of the key way off target there's nothing like a little bit self-provoked enthusiasm, Brad. Dick, it looks as though he's trying to motivate himself out there. That's a 7-0 run. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Up and inside. In the paint. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Picks off the pass. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants them to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Barry goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. He takes the board. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. And he missed. Working around the arc. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of play.
stolen away. Fast break possibility coming. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athletic system. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The ball goes out of bounds. Shoots. Nice shot. On the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Mary's at home. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass now they work it around the perimeter jumps in got it Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They work it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Alabama are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. That's a foul. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. High post flasher is open. Right in the circle. He gets the bucket. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Long down court pass. Perfectly executed. Got the shot if he wants it. From the top of the circle. Gets it to go. Puts up the tray. For two. Great anticipation and timing to go up with a stick back. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. And the ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Up it inside. Defense giving some room. Looks at the three. He gets the shot to fall. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Barry Brook. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. 
It's important to get to the charity strike. He sinks it. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Entry pass in the paint. To push it up basketball. Help one another. Communicate. They get it out into transition. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. looks on focus a lot of intensity a lot of emotion and a momentary look from three-point land and he'll kick it back outside dick a great battle down in the low post but i think the offense is gaining ground here yeah, he's getting great inside position has a great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they got the 45 degree angle which is essential in entering the ball to the post timeout I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides one would assume so excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps Dick from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. He makes a nice shot fake. He tries the three. And they don't score there either. With a deep shot from outside. Knocks it down. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. The Mountaineers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. He unloads. Buried it. Shot clock is dead. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Foul call. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. To the line. First shot, good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBA. Looking for a good shot. I think right now, I'm going to focus defensively. Drops the bucket despite the harm. From center court, way off target. At the end of the first half, the Crimson Tide are ahead by 13. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? Watch this kid elevate, Mr. Nestler. This is easily my highlight of the half. It was a spectacular dunk by the youngster. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how their second half plays out. Mary provided the offensive spark for the team in the first half. Richard? Absolutely. He's simply trying to put his squad in the best possible position to win this ball game. How much more can you ask for the star player? 
Check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Nice shot. Dumps it in. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Play results in a backcourt violation. You have to take care of the rock, baby. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. He looks for three. Makes it. in a three sinks it hey what a team's hot they're hot baby the defense putting in a great effort but it's just not getting it done in the paint here's the toss back out from the post i tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart there's a double team waiting there. Looking for the foul. Finger roll. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. and a foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shape it up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their boards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Here's a double team. The shooting guard with the ball. They move it into the front court. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The center takes the feed. Moving it around the perimeter. High post flashes. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Takes it off him. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. This is swarming defense. Now they work it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Steal. The shooting guard takes the pass. He lets it go. Rims out. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Steals the ball. Here they go, into the break. Swanson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Up and in. I want to see that again.
Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. The point guard gets the pass. High post player flashing. With the shot. Off the mark. Working it around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Control of the ball. He dials long distance. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Accepts it. The power forward gets the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They're off into transition. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. a whistle and a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, strong. On the outside. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes away the pass. Look at that spacing. The floor makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second shot, no good. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Steal. They push it up on the break. There was no doubt about that one. The Mountaineers have a player spotting up on the three. Takes away the pass. With a deep pass. Takes it off him. For the bucket. Great shot. Right 
Nice high post screen. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. From the top of the key. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. There's the screen up on top. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from left of the circle. And he hits the three. He takes the shot. He drains the shot. Double team now. Bad angle. Doesn't go. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for a good shot. He fires it up. He hits it. They work the perimeter. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up, tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That's seven on answer. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Great defense. Check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Crimson Tide lead by 11. Off the lazy pass. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There they come with a double team to stop it. He puts up the three ball. Gets it to fall. Pushes it up, length of the floor, for the bucket, he drains it. On the outside. There's the trap. Definitely a foul. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the things get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Goes. The Mountaineers are behind by 11. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Goes up for two. He nails the bucket. Picked off. The 
this defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Got it. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. And again, they look to run. For the deuce. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Catcher pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Hatcher steps to the line for the first time. No doubt about it. That's a seven-zip run. Rims out. He pulls down the board. Looks for a three-pointer. That's good. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Working it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He tries a jump hook. West Virginia are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Makes it. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. For two, sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. He makes the block. Steals a pass. The ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. To the charity strike. Wide, short, long, doesn't matter, doesn't go. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They run it up into transition. <laughs> Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. the free throw line opportunity misses the front end of the one and one a 
on the dribble gives it up turnaround jumper rims out he gives him the fake shoots it he's money with a shot they work it around the perimeter in the paint Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. West Virginia are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Picks off the pass. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. There's a double team waiting there. He lets it fly. Off the rim and no good. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Wide open for the shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Pump fakes. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Now the high screen. Tries the three. He gets the shot to fall. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Dumping inside. He's got some room. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. For the deuce, West Virginia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Play about ready to resume. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect and him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Look at that spacing. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Takes it away. He hits it. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Foul them early and give your team a chance. Shot clock is dead. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by foul, Brad. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Makes the second. Timeout charge. Hey, can we get a drum roll, Mr. Nestler? This one's going down to the last ticks, baby.
Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. He misses the second. A Buccaneer is crucial. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. And the clock stopped with a foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Makes his second shot. Timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. He makes the shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. First one is good. Second one, good. T.O. called. Hey, we got a board burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Let's get back out on the floor. He takes a chance from half court. He misses from beyond the arc. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game round, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Mountaineers is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.